You're listening to Coog Radio. Listen live online at coogradio.org. This broadcast contains explicit content. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Earworm, episode 10. Dead week. Or yeah. dead in a week. Yeah, it's finals week. Yeah. Yeah, you're feeling it? Yeah. <laughs> you're feeling it pretty hard right now. I can, I can kind of tell. I'm not feeling great about it, folks. Yeah. I am taking the brunt of finals, and it's not good. I'm psyched. I'm so... I know. So... You're very excited. I feel like I have so much left to do. So much. Still. You have so much left to live for. Uh-uh. <laughs> No, not uh, after this. I think it's just it's just like the one class. Yeah. Yeah, it's really... the one class we won't mention by. Well, it's my other class too that I have to write a paper for. But it's like our. Oh yeah, I guess there's that. I was thinking it's like our Voldemort. Yeah. Can't say the name. Mm, God forbid. But you all know we're environmental science majors. You know what class we're talking about. I think it's. I think it's like just a STEM class. Everyone. Yeah. It's it's that. It's like when you're talking about it, everyone's that like, one. "Are you in that class?" Yeah. And you're like, mm-hmm. They're they kind of shake their head and they give yeah. you a little like prayer. But anyways, considering that it is dead week, I thought, hmm, I wonder if there are any creatures that become dead in a week. <laughs> Just how I am going to become dead in a week from all of this. <laughs> so that's when I started doing my little That's a very poetic little way to research. Put it. Yeah. Um so the first one I came across that was interesting was dragonflies. Dragonflies. I thought they lived like all summer. Predat they're predatory insects. Okay. Um Predators. Yeah. Look out. Be on the move. They're they're depend their lifespan depends on the conditions. So if it's cold and like a bummer, they can live as short as a week. They can live like their full seven days and then die. Oh, but they if, only live yeah. a week. Yeah. Oh my god. That's... If conditions suck. If conditions are good and like warm, they yeah. can live up to a couple months, like six months at the tops, but they can spend up to five years in their larval or nymph stage. So when they're what under- What do they do? Chill. They just- <laughs> Vibe. Like, Metamorphose. Just, I don't know. But it doesn't, I mean, it really, does it take them that long? For certain species, yeah. For other species, it takes like a season, but so for I certain one, it can take years. I don't know much about dragonflies. I just know that they exist. And they look cool, and they yeah. have a cool name, Dragon. Yeah. You know, it's uh, it's like in Step Brothers where he's they meet each other, and he's like, "You have to call me Dragon." Oh, I have <laughs> never seen, but that sounds very funny. But anyway, so what what is their like metamorphose process then? Because do they they don't like cocoon as kind of it's pu- pupation, pupation. Pu- pupae, pupae. pupa, pupa, yeah. and then nymphs also. So after they pupate, nymph, they become a nymph, and they just are like bug like. Think of a bug, like bug shaped. That's a dragonfly nymph. And then they just kind of vibe under the water until they decide to grow wings. Oh, they hang out like underwater. Yeah. That's, I literally just said underwater. No, but... I know, but I'm just repeating you because I yeah. want to make sure I, I heard you correctly. Yeah. God, these look like kind of gross. Underwater. I know, they are gross. I said they're very bug shaped and it's like really uncomfortable. And if you find them in the water, it's like, ew. What oh. is that bug? And then it becomes a dragonfly. Oh my god, they're pretty, they're pretty big too. I know. It becomes a dragonfly and you're like, yippee. So they just stay in that stage for a while. Or they can stay in that stage for Correct. a while. Correct. And okay. then as adults, they tend to die off pretty quickly. Do, do dragonflies have pain receptors? Um, I, I don't think most bugs have pain receptors. No? I guess a lot of them just like lose a leg pretty casually. Yeah. Because I was going to say, it must be... For, I think if there was this, like humans or like a mammal that had that quick like of a turnaround you know from being birthed to dying that week it, there'd be so much growing pain uh, yeah like people you're people like experience wings out of your back and you're like ah. yeah they experience growing pain during uh puberty but that's over like the course of a couple months as right. they, they have them years even yes for some ugh, some of those people but yeah <laughs> We won't name names. We won't, I'd never had any. I don't know. What no you're growing pains. About. Oh, I did, and it was bad. I was a big, strong boy. Oh, I had a lot of growing pains in like elementary school because I grew really fast, and then I hit sixth grade and promptly stopped growing. <laughs> I wonder if that's just how it is for girls. It could be. They, I mean, they grow a lot like earlier than guys. Yeah, I was taller than everyone, including my teachers, until like 
middle school and then it and then i evened out with everyone else it's so crazy how some people it like they grow so quickly that they have those like skin stretch marks because they oh i didn't have those but i did have to i had a knee frac my head i fractured my knee while i was running Mm -hmm. because my bones were growing faster than my muscles yeah and they freaked out and some ligament things happened and i fractured my knee that's crazy. I think the only thing that and really happened with me is I had like a big head for a while. <laughs> you still have a big head. What? Just... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. My head up big. It's proportionate. <laughs> it Proportional. Like a, it means you like got a big brain. <laughs> it may be smooth, but it's big. But yeah, a lot of that's a that's the thing with a lot of like interesting lifespan stuff is it's usually things that spend a the majority of their lives as a nymph or pupa or whatever yeah and then be- they become adults they screw they die i feel like out of all the words to be called a nymph or pupa is definitely on the lower tier a nymph sound yeah i would not <laughs> if someone came up to me and was like hey yo what's up my nymph i'd be like oh ooh, i don't know about that one you but think there's, i bet in uh in there's like bug a, slurs not only that but i was gonna say in like a fairy tale setting or like a fantasy setting i bet nymph is a total slur maybe not like a maybe derogatory yeah that, that would be like sense. you know like I mean, calling the, someone a baby like um, oh you're acting like such a baby bro don't be such a baby i don't know i was kind of imagining it more of like I I hear nymph. I think like fairy. Or yeah. Something. You know, like oh, what a nymph. Oh, like fairy, as in when it was used against gay people as like a no, derogatory that's not, term. That's not what. I, oh my god! I, meant, I can't I believe meant, you like, said like, that. It's like the. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it on this. But don't. It, yeah. <laughs> don't if you don't think you are. It's it's a it's a word that starts with p. Penis. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're saying. Yeah, I know what yeah. you're saying. That's kind of what I think. Yeah, like baby. Yeah. Like, oh, don't be such a, you know. Yeah, don't be a little bitch. Like yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. Oh, are we allowed to swear on live? Um, oh, oh, well. <laughs> yeah. You already have before that point, so. Yeah. Any, anyway, dragonflies, weird. I didn't know they, sp- I thought it was just like, I thought they came out of eggs, to be honest. They do. They do. They hatch out of eggs and then they become a little worm part oh, and then they. I don't know if they have a larval. Do like, they just go straight from egg to nymph? They might. Hmm. But that's a little weird. I feel like that would that wouldn't make much sense though, would it? Because I don't like looking at the nymphs. <laughs> they, I really don't like looking at them. It's make you a little uncomfortable. Yeah. I guess. Um. Hmm, yeah. Well, while you're looking that up, I can talk about something because I feel like when it comes to finals and stress, we are very. Uh, inversely related and you always stress about it and uh-huh. I always get I feel like more relaxed about uh-huh. it and so while you were looking up short lifespans I was over here looking up long Whoa. lifespans I know Whoa, the computer I heard that kind of, kind of freaked me out she said anyway the one that I was thinking of the first one that I have down it's a mammal it's big it lives in the ocean. It's whale. the bow-headed whale. Beep. Yeah, these funky guys live in the Arctic in extremely cold waters. They can get up to like 60 feet long, and they can live for more than 200 years. Yo. I know, right? That's like a... I feel like it's a really big thing to be living for that long, too. Okay, I found out they go straight from egg to nymph. Egg to nymph. There's no, there's no worm I don't stage. Think, uh, I don't think the bow-headed whale every, has a nymph stage. Every creature should start as a worm, I think. You think so? Yeah. What for? Like to give them perspective? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> that would kind of that kind of suck. Butterflies do it. Yeah, but that's like and wor- actual worms are kind of yeah, but they never move shafted. past that stage. A lot of bugs start as little w- worms, and Isn't I that think just larva. Yeah, I think that if people started as worms, we'd have a lot better views on I society. I think if people started as worms, then abortions would be a much more common thing. Just just worm it out. They just like step on it and they'd no! be like. Oh no, I dropped it. No. I mistook it for larva. <laughs> Yo, who stepped well, on this worm? That would be funny the because then it wouldn't be like you wouldn't have a baby, you'd have a larva. A worm. You'd have a worm. Look at my worm. Congrats on your new worm. <laughs> that kind of takes some of the we're, charm. We're wormnant. <laughs> we're having a worm. Gender reveal party, but it's only worms. <laughs> Guys, we're having a worm. Well, would you know at that point? Would you know what? No, because worms be? are most worms are uh, so intersex. You, so, like, would the or, worm or, or uh, hermaphroditic? Would the worm be like your pregnancy then? 
I I'm, guess so. I'm with Worm. I'm with Worm! <laughs> <laughs> that is so... I hate that! <laughs> well, um, I'm... And then, like, baby showers would, would be, like, warm showers. It's just, like, a bathtub full of dirt. No. And you're like, let him go. <laughs> <laughs> let him dig through it. Would you... Would... Now I'm thinking about this. So, okay, well, when, it, when it comes to larva, is there, like, outside influences that can affect the gender? No. Oh. I mean, not that I'm aware like, of. I know there's, like, superstitions about, like, people can do certain things. Oh, to... yeah, if you pee on baking soda and it fizzes, you're having a boy or something. That is not what I was no, thinking. Oh. Is that true? No, it's not true, but it's a, it's a, it's an old wives' it's tale. like a superstition. Yeah. Yeah, I, well, no, I was thinking, like, um... Oh, if you spin like, around three times and turn upside down on your head, yeah. then it makes sure that you will be 76% to have a boy. Yeah, I was thinking of how I met your mother. It's like if you dunk your balls in ice, yeah. it's like you're more likely. Or if you get your coochie pretty warm. I would hate that. I would also hate yeah. that. that. I mean, I guess if you just swim in somewhere cold, it's like the same thing. Uh, it's like uh, when you walk out into the water on the beach and it like, it kind of brushes up. It, it gets level, up on your... And you're like, oh... <laughs> I think okay. just went inside. Okay, okay. But anyway, yeah, bowheaded whale, 200 years. If I'm going to ask you this for every time I say a different age. What would you do differently if you could live for 200 years and you knew you were going to live for 200 years? I would try to get a good paying job ASAP. Yeah. And then try to get like the normal amount that people like to put away for retirement and have it be like steady until you die and then just like retire at the normal 65 and then just live yeah travel places so are you imagining that like each i would year get a sulcata tortoise like one because they live like 120 years sulcata tortoises and then i wouldn't have to like pass it on to my kids or anything i'd be a little sad though because well, then what, my what happens with one of you dies before the other one? And it's like... The tortoise will die before I like, die. Oh, this lifelong... Like this extended lifelong friendship. Well, that's what macaws and other parrots that live like 90 years, 80 years. Yeah, I guess. You don't you don't get the macaw when you're that. When you're like a baby. Unless your parents got it when you I, were a baby. I guess. At the they same buy time the egg. you were... They... they the egg was the first child and you're the second child and it's like younger sibling syndrome the egg hatches and a baby bird comes out not a larva and they're like what the heck i thought i was getting a worm <laughs> what happened to my worm and then the baby comes out and it's not a worm and they're like what the heck is going on here i was so misled <laughs> anyway uh what's your next one let's hear another short lifespan one so this I, at the at the end of the dragonfly section i wrote that like most animals that live really short lives, the mm -hmm. only thing that they do is they are alive and then they bang and then they die. I think right? that's how most creatures live their life. Kind of, yeah. I think humans are the exception. If you take like a really broad perspective, it's the same though. Right. You know, like, do you think that because we don't, we're not like on their level to worms and like bees and stuff that have that, they're like, they're going about their social circles. They're having their day-to-day -day conversations. But to us, we're like, that's just a guy trying to find some food or yeah. bang some, yeah. some lady worms. Yeah. You know? I think I think everything has more complex feelings than we think. I think so, too. I think you're onto something there. You look at a worm and you're like, he's thinking about something. Thinking like, about he doesn't think in the way that we think, but, oh, he's thinking. He's, yeah. To him, he's like, that was some good dirt. <laughs> yeah. I just I just climbed through an apple, dude. That was rad. It was just like everything I've ever heard. <laughs> he dies an hour later. Oh, or Bummer. he gets chopped in half and then his friend appears. You know, oh. cause they like cause can't worms do that. No. Oh. That's a myth. Well, I, I like why'd you just have to crush that? One of the me? worst myths. <laughs> so this is super a tangent and we'll get back to to my next point. But whenever people come into the pet store, and are like wanting an they do animal. What into the pet store? Shut up. <laughs> they they are mm, they they frequent my place of employment. Yeah. Um. A lot of the time, people will ask like, "Oh, I heard that. Doesn't this animal fit the size cage that you put it in?" Nothing does oh, that. Oh, like fish. That is not true. I thought they because they they like they not not like they'll shrink down, but they'll grow to the size of it. Or like they'll kind of, they'll stop growing because of the size. Kind of, yes. 
but that's called stunting them and it is very harmful to their health people wonder why goldfish live like a year oh maybe because it's in a 10 gallon tank or less it's in a fishbowl and they can grow <laughs> to be like a foot like no way yes goldfish can get massive dude and they should up. be allowed to the, the only reason they live it was like oh goldfish live a week blah 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 it's because you're stunting their growth and people ask that about snakes it's like oh and lizards like oh don't will it not fit the size of enclosure that i give it no he this man is making an expression i'm serious the largest goldfish ever caught was nicknamed carrot and he weighed 67 pounds yeah dude that's what i'm saying it's a big fit look at him look at this big guy like stunting wow he is a big boy <laughs> Stunning their growth is not good for them. The fact that they can do that doesn't mean that you should let them because it's bad for their health. Yeah. Anyways, that always just makes me so mad. It's like... Do you think that people do that with like other other animals and they think that it's going to work out? Like people they, do they it, buy people, like a snake? People did it with... Snakes are a little bit more able to grow past their container. People will do that with... um. Or, or people did do that back in the day with like alligators. Yeah. They'd keep baby alligators in these tiny, tiny tanks. And then like they would grow, but only to a certain point. And then they'd have the the worst, it's called rubber jaw. Their jaw starts curving upward and growing up because they are bumping it and don't have room to stretch out. And it's terrible for their jaw, for their teeth. Like it's so bad for their health. It could kill them. Mm -hmm. And people were just like, oh, captive alligators don't live that long. But you can keep him in a small box and he'll be fine for 20 years of his life. <laughs> and it's it's horrible. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. Anyways. What do you think would happen tangent. if you kept like like a baby human in a box? Well, that reminds me of the... They just get, they'd grow to be like box shaped. <laughs> box baby. <laughs> box baby. Box baby. This like, isn't a worm. It's like boxed wine. <laughs> boxed worm. <laughs> um... No, there, there, there's like, I don't want to be culturally insensitive. I don't, I'm not sure of the correct terms to use. Oh, come on. But there's out. like a, a tribe or some congregation of people that. I feel like congregation of people is worse than saying tribe. I don't tribe. think so. I think so. I don't, there's a group of people who practice um when, when they're still babies or when they're young, they'll put like flat boards on oh, the back yeah. of their heads to like make their heads taller. Didn't the, I know the, the Inca used to do that. For, or, yeah, for the babies. Inca or the Aztecs or some, yeah. some of those people. I mean, it was one of, one of those, one of those um, groups of people. So like while you're young and squishy, mm -hmm. you can like <laughs> squish your head and make it a different shape and stuff. Yeah. Can you imagine if there was like one, I mean, there has to have been throughout time, but if there's like one really cynical parent and they like every day they would like kind of, do like a little like molding to the baby's uh, head and then when it grew up it had like a c-shaped head that'd be so embarrassing <laughs> that'd be so yeah, it's like they like push on the center you know of it filter, so it's like that yeah. filter that can do that like on your phone no you know when you when you like pull up a filter on your phone and it like makes your face look funny oh yeah like oh what like they just did that to their baby yeah oh that's sad poor baby kind of funny though anyways oh, god i'd be like <laughs> What? It's, what? It's, well, I mean, imagine if someone did that. And they were like a totally normal person, but they just had this really unfortunate parent that did that to them. And then you meet them and you're like, like you just can't stop You can't looking. stop looking at you it? You can't stop looking That's so rude. Like, their hairline would be so like messed up. Why? The fact that you think this is so funny is a little bit concerning about your morals it's i mean it's the same it's the same thing as like when someone has a lazy eye and you're like which one do i look at stop that's a horrible let me talk about mayflies would you yes yeah okay yeah, more larva so mayflies you've probably seen them they're like they're they're um in the same family as dragonflies which is uh ephemeroptera I think is how you say it. God, what a cool name. I know, right? Ephemer op yeah, ephemeroptera. Um, which literally means short lived, like the Greek. So <laughs> that's about some scientist said, Wow, this guy sucks. He lives for like three days. Anyways. Let's name him dies after three days. <laughs> let's name him stupid idiot can't survive. <laughs> um so mayflies, they live around like still bodies of water. Yeah. They lay their eggs as adults. They hatch in minutes. Minutes. In a few hours, they emerge from their larval stage into adults. 
and the adults will live and breed <laughs> for 24 hours and then die. They just like wake up ready to go. Yeah, they do. That's crazy. Can you imagine if, oh man, that's. Like imagine being born and then like a couple minutes later, you're like, I have to do my taxes, you know? And then you're <laughs> like, and then a couple minutes later, you're like, oh, I'm old. Yeah. And then you die. And then you just fall over. But hopefully before that point, you got with a lady mate. You got to imagine those guys are operating on like a whole different speed. Yeah, they are. You know, that's that's kind of crazy. I kind of envy that life, you know? Really? They're, I... they're in it for the grind. <laughs> Like, you want to talk about the grind? They're not here for a long time. They're here for a good time. Yeah. They, they wake up. They don't care about taxes. They're like, they're adults, and they're like, who's ready? <laughs> come on. Come here, lady. And then they make eggs, and then they die. Yeah. And then they become food for fish and other things. Yeah, and then their babies continue that, like, What a bummer. Like, do you think lifestyle? one mayfly was just like, I reject society. I want to go live my life and be free on my own and not be subject to... This this lifestyle of oh, what, and he, like, dying makes it to and the breeding. end of the county and then dies. He makes it like to the edge of the pond and dies. <laughs> Everyone else is pointing and laughing at him. Oh, stupid idiot! And then they, they all die. They didn't even breed. What a bummer. Yeah, God, do you think there's like one mayfly that lived to be a week and everyone was like the elder of the tribe, the that, elder yeah. of the pond? Yeah, yeah. Uh, God, all that's, that's he's like, lived for generations. Three is, days. I know that that'd be like a great like D D one shot idea is like it's all in a microscopic area that i takes love place that idea oh, yeah that'd be that'd be so much write fun. that down write that down write that down write that down well you said you're mayfly i'm gonna go to my next one all right the rough eye rockfish oh yeah he uh lives... dr turner did his research on rockfish yeah, he did oh uh, what a good guy we still need to have him on yes i would love to have him on but uh it kind of lives and resides in the northern pacific around it can kind of come up between california japan the aleutian islands kind of around the uh that whole area oh the... so he's like exactly what you imagine when someone says rockfish yeah it's like the red with the stripes and cool the, looking that's the spiky back but those guys also 200 years old wow i know i feel like uh, i don't know why they Just look chill for any an fish, old fish any fish that can live that long is kind of redonkulous and it's all fish or not all but like the majority of things that live a super long time are fish well, ocean creatures yeah yeah that's crazy but the rough, rough eye rockfish pretty cool the next one not as long as the last two but the orca oh yeah the orca can live up to 90 years old and i yeah, mean that's not too bad i know i know I, do you think it's like do you think it's because swimming is so good for you Probably. I think if humans swam a lot more, they would live a lot longer. Well, I don't but know. But the only data point we have for that is like Olympic swimmers who are probably on a bunch of drugs. So I, well, that's I mean, a bummer. If they're in the Olympics, they're probably not supposed to be doing drugs. But they probably can and do. Yeah, but afterwards. Who, what maybe. was the guy who was in the race? Michael who, Phelps. No. Biker. Oh. Who, Lance Armstrong? He was on an episode of... No, wait. Is that the... No, I know who you're talking about, Lance Armstrong. Yeah, he was the biker who f who got on a bunch of steroids and freaked up the Tour de France. Who was the and he one? He was on an episode of Arthur. He was. Yeah, he was. I think before all that happened. Oh, so is it was was what animal was he? He was an aardvark, just like Arthur. Oh, really? I think so. He how wasn't just like a person. I was gonna say, how funny would it have been if it was just like a normal guy? And they're like, what is he? <laughs> no, I know that when it comes to the Tour de France, there was that one person who. He's on the Arthur Wiki. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Hey, that's great. <laughs> oh man. He gives Binky tips about how to advocate for himself. Oh, what a what a good guy. I oh bet no, that he was, was a rabbit. Sorry. I bet that was before the whole it, like it, scandal. It, yeah. Do you think that he, he was got a to rabbit. choose what what animal he was? I hope so. Yeah. He kind of looks just like a like a person wearing rabbit ears. Yeah. Like, he doesn't really look like an animal. Oh, yeah. They give him, like, a pretty strong like jawline. Like, human features. And then yeah. said, no, like he's a rabbit. Look, stuff. he has ears. Yeah, but he has, like, cute. human eyes and a human nose and mouth. It's no, like, I know oh. that there was that one guy who got in trouble because he would get into, like, when I don't know if they have breaks or not, but he would get, like, a blood transfusion of oxygenated blood. Oh. During the Tour de France. And people were like, that's not allowed. And... I mean, it was like, 
I don't know what to call it. It's, it's kind of like a natural steroid because then, you know, you're you're just moving more efficiently. Sorry, I'm showing you more pictures of him as a rabbit. He's kind of like cursed. It's like gross, yeah. Yeah. It's like really uncomfortable to Is look at. Is that actually what he looks like? I don't know. But yeah, after after the scandal happened, they like stopped airing that episode. And then and then they were they re-aired it, but they replaced <laughs> If you look him at Lance Uncle Armstrong, Sam. there's a lot of pictures of him and they every single one of them looks different <laughs> like a different person or it could be a different person wait did you say he got replaced with uncle sam yeah like they just was it wait was it how was it like in the same episode and they just drew uncle sam instead of lance armstrong no it's like they cut it and like re it's just uncle sam on a bike no no like the they like time. cut that part and and rewrote it it's like, oh, it's so good to see you, Uncle Sam. Like, <laughs> just, that like, came like, across really well. Like filtered over really badly. <laughs> and like they're still mouthing very clearly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're right. There are like tons of pictures of him and they all look different. Yeah, he didn't really age very... Well, I mean, he looks fine as an old guy, but like the progression of him was so very odd. unnatural looking. Uh, What was I talking... Orcas. Orcas. Yeah. Orcas. They swim. I... Orcas are really cool, especially after going through bio and learning a little bit more about their, uh, what is, I don't know what to call them, their groups, like their little pool or schools. Uh, pod. Their pod, yeah. They have like 10 to 20 in a pod, sometimes less. I think I think they're like, like the smallest one is probably like three. Uh, and each one of them are different. I think that's so cool. They each have like their own practices and traditions. Like some of them, you know, they they eat certain things like... Sorry, I just discovered otters. something very disturbing, but continue. And then some of them just, like, terrorize boats. Like, there's the group that's been going around recently who have just been sinking yeah, small boats. Yeah, they have. Mm-hmm. I have no idea why. Have I you couldn't... seen the video of the guy, like, on the, on the, uh, it's not a surfboard. Like, the, um, what's it called? It's like a surfboard, but then, a oh, parasail, par parasailing oh, yeah, vessel. Yeah, yeah. Who, who he looks behind him and there's just like an orca like in his wake and he's like nah <laughs> and he just paddles away I would be that would be terrifying orcas are very scary well are there any reports of them like eating humans in, oh, the, yeah. in the wild oh um because I know they've killed them in captivity yeah because they're like this guy sucks <laughs> nope yeah they like I don't I do not know if I I would assume so are you looking it up yeah mm. Well, either way, I think that the fact that each ah, orca there are pod... no documented reports of wild, free-living orcas ever having intentionally attacked humans. Do you think there's like one, like Viking or something that got killed by Probably. an orca? And every time that anyone ever says, like, "Oh, no one's ever been killed by a wild orca in the wild," he's like somewhere in Valhalla, and he's like, "Those fools." <laughs> <laughs> Why does he sound like stereotypical Indian accent? That you're one Viking. is not Indian. I was trying to do like no, like Nordic or like. You failed know. miserably. No, I didn't. Apparently. Okay, you you say it. No, I don't know what a Viking accent is. It's just like, it's like uh, like Northern Europe. I, hey, n don't know. Never heard it. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. I've never actually met a Viking, so I wouldn't know. I don't think Vikings actually exist anymore. Um. I have an informant it's on the side who is playing with the Arthur tangent a little bit and has just informed me that Matt Damon was in an episode of Arthur. No way. And I have to show you what he looks like. <laughs> Everyone at home needs to Google this. God, he's terrible. Because it Dude, look is at those eyes. awful. Oh. It is genuinely terrible. Okay, how come Lance Armstrong didn't get like a little aardvark nose? Because he was a rabbit. But he didn't, like a rabbit would have had the same style yeah. of nose. They just gave him like a divot. It was, gosh, every time they've put a real person in Arthur, it's not gone well, is Hold what on. I'm learning. I want to look up all celebrities that have been in that So been in unrelated Arthur. to what we're talking about. But that's just how Dead Week rolls, baby. You start listening in class and then you you look back at the teacher, all of a sudden they're talking about something and you've drawn a stick figure and you're like, oh no. Oh no you, way. You look down for five seconds to draw one of those S's that you drew in high school. And oh, then button. what? I found something really good. I need to confirm it. You got to hack the mainframe I gotta to hack figure the mainframe. it out. <laughs> I'm so worried about what you're about to say that you found. Oh, I can't. I need to find. I need to find a picture. I need to find a really good picture of it. <laughs> yo, yo, mama. 
What? In in Arthur. I think he's a uh like a cello, a cellist, cello is cellist. I don't Ooh. know what the name for it is. Uh a musician. But yeah, there's a lot of there's so many people that have been in Arthur. That's crazy. Art Garfunkel. The Backstreet Boys. <laughs> no way. Arthur's dad sang the Jekyll and Hyde song. What is that? I'm not at liberty to say. I, I you gotta like give me something here. I never watched Arthur as a child. I well, I, I watched I, it I at I my watched... grandma's house because she had PBS on all the time. I think I I watched like a little bit of it when I was younger. Oh my god, look up the Backstreet Boys and Arthur. Are they? Do they look the exact same? Um, you know, <laughs> a little bit. Oh, so they all look horrifying? Yeah. Awesome. Great. They all look like people one with of them, ears. One of them looks more like Matt Damon than Matt Damon did. <laughs> one of them looks like our classmate. I was just <laughs> thinking that too. I don't. I'm not going to say which one. <laughs> the, oh my God. It's like uncanny how yeah. similar it is. We got to talk to him about that. Uh, they don't try to make them look like animals at all. Well, I think they just give them like their main features it's awful it's horrible them. they are really bad at doing that hey hey now you make no. a kid show and then incorporate it's it's awful people oh god there's some really weird art from it anyway let's get back to the topic so again. off topic right uh now. the next one on my list a little longer he's cool he's a shark he oh, isn't sexually active till at least 100 years old i know it's the greenland shark yippee yeah, he's uh he's a pretty cool guy. He's one of the he is the oldest living shark. Uh, they can live up to four hundred years old, and they live in the Arctic, much like the bow-headed uh, whale. Which kind of got me thinking. There's a lot of things on this list uh, that live to an extreme age, and the habitat that they live in is the Arctic. Yeah, it's either the Arctic or warm tropical climate, and I'm wondering if there's Something about being extreme, you're like just very resilient. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 kind of what I was what I was getting to. They're so they're so like gentle looking, the Greenland shark. You yeah. look at them and they're just like, ooh, <laughs> just like, hmm. I mean, I guess. What didn't they find one that was like extremely old? It was like 400 years old. Yeah. It was very very old. Or five think... 512. Is that what? That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, I think it was. I think that it's the nose. It's so silly it's like looking. Round, it's really rounded. Yeah. And so he's just kind of looks, looks sweet. like... It looks like he'd run into you and he would apologize. Oops, sorry. Yeah. He would, oh, my bad. Bump. They're Bump. huge. They can get really big, though. They do. I think when I was looking this up, it said that they can grow up to 12 feet per year. Like, that's crazy, dude. That's redonkulous. That's like... We're getting to dragonfly levels of growing quick. Yeah, dude. You know? But the it's funny. The One of the main facts that it like to to bring up was that it wasn't sexually active until it was 100 years old that would be such a bummer to would, not be able to would... reproduce until if like we're thinking about human lifespan i assume that would probably be until you're like 40 or 50 you like can't have children well and that's when most people stop having children yeah i mean if you do put it into broader perspective like mm. yeah that'd mm. be that would be like people not being able to do anything until they're 20 yeah because if you take it, if you double the four, so it's like, if it's 800. The way then... you think about things and pontificate math is always just an anomaly to me. <laughs> you start explaining it and I know where you're coming from and I can follow you. But if I tried to do it that way, I would freak out. <laughs> I, I don't, my brain works. In it works in such an interesting <laughs> well, way. It's like, you yeah. need to be studied by someone. <laughs> it's for You a... need to talk to well, a, like a psychologist. Because my thought process was, it was, it was. It was 400 and 100, so I was like, oh, if it was 40 Humans and 10, that'd be really... Humans don't live to I know, but if it was four, 400 and 100, then it'd be 40 and 10, and that'd be weird. So if you double it, then it'd be, you know, people pretty on average, I think, live to 80 now. Yeah. And so it'd be 20, if because if it was a quarter of that. It just... the It's astounding <laughs> to hear you talk about your theories. But I, I follow, you know? That's good. That's, that's all that counts, right? I mean, I think... It should be that way because... What? People aren't allowed to do anything until 20? Not not an allowance, but like physically you cannot reproduce because oh. teen pregnancy is a Well, no, because then, then you get into... That's, that's when you get into like evolution because you right. want to be able to have kids as quickly as possible. Yeah. You know, and so yeah. the faster that you can... The but more... we don't need all that no more. 
Yeah, but that's We're like... not getting attacked as soon as we're birthed in the bush. It's not like we get shot out and then left behind. Yeah, but it's like saying, oh, we don't, we have clothes, so we don't have need for hair anymore. Do you think everyone would just give that up? We're, we pretty much have grown out of all of our hair because of clothes. Yeah, but like the hair on the top of your head. That's, hey, guess where we don't put clothes most of the time? I know, but you know what I'm saying. Not really. Don't, don't understand. You're describing something that has already happened. That reminds me, one time Isaac was like, don't worry, this isn't going anywhere weird or hair related. Um, <laughs> I Isaac wasn't said, thinking that until you just brought it up. Isaac said, I have such a good idea for like a sci-fi bug species where like all of them are like born in the spring and then mate and then they die. So their whole species is based on reproduction. And I said, babe, that's just butterflies and moths. <laughs> like that's that's how it works. You just describe something that actually exists. And I felt so bad breaking the news to him. I gotta break the news to you, but no, that's I don't know. I, I've definitely had those moments before where I thought I had a really I think that's one of the problems with the internet. Is like you think you have a yeah. really cool original idea and then someone else has like like there there's something that within the last month it became really popular because it was like people, they had like an itch on their hand and they're like, oh, I just isn't itching right. And so they would bite it. Yeah. And then everyone was like, I thought I was the only one who did oh, that. Oh, I know. It's, it's the vine of someone like showing them tucking their, their blanket under their feet. And it's like, ha ha, I do that. Yeah. Well, that's where relatable memes came from. Yeah. I think it's just, I don't know. People it, need to keep to themselves. Yeah. There's certain. Keep your ideas there's, Okay. Inside. There's definitely certain things that, I mean, I'm, I, fall, I fall victim to this all the time. There's definitely certain things that people shouldn't talk about, but I, but like you just, there's, it's so easy to talk about like habits and, and mannerisms and mm -hmm. personal life stuff. I think people have become really more, like a lot more open now. I know I have. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely, I think I definitely have. I think I joke about it more though. So I'm not, it's like, you're not embarrassed about it. You're just kind of like, right. that's how it is. Uh, What's the next one on your short yeah, lifespan so list? Speaking, Let's hear it. Speaking of butterflies and moths, um, first of all, are you surprised that most things on this list are bugs that no. have short lifespans? It's no. like I'd be a little worried if it was like an like a mammal. I know the shortest lived mammal I think is like a field mouse, which is still like one to two years. Really? Yeah. Hmm. But uh, this this one bugs bugs mature so quickly and like breed so fast. It kind of doesn't really matter that they die so quickly because yeah. of how quickly they become sexually mature. Like what you were saying. Um, but the American copper butterfly, who is super a cutie, like a really cute little butterfly. Yeah. Um, they only live about two weeks, but they, while, while they're alive and well, the male butterflies are like super territorial and like will drive other males and other insects out of their territory while they're trying to like mate with a female. And it's like, it got me thinking, how does a butterfly defend itself or like defend its territory from other males? How could butterflies, how do they, they can't beat each other up. Like how is, how is, how is it going on? <laughs> I, think, that I think they have to like scare them off. They like chase them. Well, cause well, it's like, they can't they do look, anything. The, the males and females look different, right? Not a whole lot. Well, Not usually for butterflies. It's usually really little differences. There's the ones that like they, they, on their wings, they have eyes, you know? Yeah. I wonder if they do the same kind of thing there. No, it says it says online that they chase them away. Oh yeah. And it's like, well, if he catches up to him, he's not gonna punch him okay, or like well, uh, eat him. <laughs> it's like he's a little butterfly. He well, can't do anything. Okay, you have to put that into like your own version of of understanding that because I think if something if I was if I was walking up to something and it turned around and started running directly at me, <gasps> like it could be. But what like, if you were really horny? <laughs> You are a male trying to get this girl. I'm, like, I'm walking up behind it, it turns around, runs at me. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of hot. No, it would. I think that I think anything just like running directly at you would be terrifying. It could be like it could be something as simple as like a mouse. Yeah. Or like a small dog, like, huh. you know, a horse, like any horses si are not small. And he's no, I'm talking about like any oh, like size of animals. something that no matter how big or small it is, like if yeah. something is beelining it for you, bugs, bugs are a perfect example. That's actually true. Yeah. You know, if a bug is like flying around, I'm like, that's chill. And then if he beelines it towards my face, I'm like, this is not okay anymore. It's like a defense thing that I think that every, 
every living organism yeah. has programmed into it. It's like the it's like the cow and the tiger. Like there's a tiger chasing a cow. Cow runs into the fence on accident, turns around and starts chasing the tiger yeah, away. Dude. You know, it's it's that exact thing. Like no one likes to be chased. That's true. That's like so real. Unless you're a dog in a park. Yeah. Because then those guys they'll run, they'll yeah. run and run. But uh, I mean, it's it's similar to the butterfly that I studied over the summer, the Oregon silver spot. Mm -hmm. They they lay their eggs at the end of the summer. The caterpillars hatch, then they like hibernate under the snow. Yes. And then emerge the in the snow? beginning of the summer. Yeah. And they only live like a couple months as adults. And then they do like the whole thing over again. So if there was like a particularly <laughs> bad year in their habitat, like if it got a little bit too cold for all of them, then they just go extinct. Really? I think that's cr same thing with the mayflies. Like there's so many of them and they're so established that it doesn't matter. But like if all of a sudden all the water in the world went away or like all the water in the world became toxic to mayflies only, like they just go extinct. Well, yeah, but that's how it would be for a lot of things. I feel what like. if water turned to poison and then we drank <laughs> it and we all died? I, were we talking? I feel like we were, we talking, were talking about, about this. something like this. Yeah, what was it? I don't remember. No. It was in the cafeteria. <laughs> and we were like, it's what if, what if actually it like caught on fire and was like actually poison? <laughs> It's so funny. It's, it was, I think it was just we were listing different like types of... And then like the earth cracked open yeah. and then there were spikes. <laughs> <laughs> like little kids trying to describe something scary. Like there's spikes there's and it's ho sand. really hot yeah. and it's really there's on hot. fire it's and like also it's thing. frozen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also there's dragons and they want to eat you. And there's you. monsters. God, kids talking about things is like... It's so funny, but it's so irritating at the same yeah, time. Yeah, because no they won't reason. stop talking. Yeah. You know, if you let them go, they'll just talk themselves to death. Yeah. Anyway, uh, is that... That's th it that I have for the butterfly. I thought it was so funny that they, like, I think it's chase kind of, each other around it's to, kind like, of scare the boys away. Yeah. That's that's the type of situation where you could play yeah. that one, the, the one song, like... Doo, 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 yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Well... Back to my super cool, rad, awesome, better than yours list. Okay. Um, actually, <laughs> I would like to argue this point. Because who came up with the idea for this episode and was doing my notes last night instead of this morning? Well, I had something to do, to do last night. Oh, so did I. Guess what? I built a 120-gallon enclosure. And guess what I still had time for? Mine was more difficult. Wrong. I, Incorrect. It was so much more difficult. I had to collect scrap for the company oh no you're oh no <laughs> you're playing video games and then forgot your duties i also got really sleepy <laughs> whatever oh man the next one uh kind of crazy it's small it also lives in the arctic what the heck it lives to be 500 years old it's the ocean quahog clam or mollusk oh i love it yeah i freak with clams dude why? I, I think they're so silly. There's a particular TikTok of a clam swimming to the beat of a song, and I don't know what the name of the song is or how it goes, but it is one of my favorite videos ever because the, or it might be a scallop. He's just like, yeah, they're kind of, like, I love the way that they swim. I think that uh, everyone who watches, or everyone as a kid when they watched SpongeBob, they were just like, oh, that's how clams get around. And then it wasn't until you're a little older where you're like, wait, no, that's, that's actually, that's how, actually they get around. how they get around. Yeah. And it's it's kind of funny. That's kind of crazy. But no, this uh, just the Quahog made me think of Family Guy because they have the, that's that's like the town, right? I don't watch a ton of Family Guy, but I have one. I have, one, I have never seen it. Two. Yeah, I've they seen live. Clips they live in Quahog. On TikTok, and that's it. But and then they have the drunken clam, which I wonder if. Wow. Yeah. Well, I don't know if they would put that much thought into the name and then the one of the major places that they hang out at in this show, but it's just kind of goofy. One of those funny little things. One of those little details that you like wouldn't think about too much. And then someone realizes it and appreciates it. And then you, as the person who made it, are like, that's right. Wow. That's, Kicking your feet, giggling. Yeah. That's you, how, that's how I feel about whenever the, I put something in D&D. &D. The Gigas Giant Clam. The what? The, the Gigas. That sounds like the setup to a bad clam. joke. No, 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 no. He's, he's a very, very large clam and he looks normal. And then he has these bright blue lips. Whoa. They're like really cool. I don't know how long they live, but you said clam. And I was like, let me think about all <laughs> the clams that I know of. 
Look at this oh. one. There's a picture of him with legs. And he's running and, and he's, he's running. on fire. And there's also spikes and he's poisoned. <laughs> and he has a gun that can shoot um, lasers. <laughs> he also has really big teeth. And yeah, his, dude. His wings they, they wings can live. Okay, they can live over 100 years, the Gigas Giant Clam, but not as long as your other little... The Kohog Clam or Mollusk. Yeah. But anyway, the next one. This one's really cool. I love this one. I have no idea how to pronounce the name. There's a nickname for it, and I'll say it after I try to pronounce the actual name. But it is the uh, Turritopus. Oh boy. Dornhill. Dornil. Dorney. What? Turid- oh, I see. I see Turid- what you're trying to say. Topsis. Uh, Dorney. Yeah, yeah. There you also go. Also known as the immortal jellyfish. Oh, that's who this is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, they have a really cool thing where after they uh, reach sexual maturity and they do their little their little thing. Uh, Did you see me correct the spelling in your notes just now? No, I, oh. I saw you do something, but I didn't realize what it was. I corrected yeah, your spelling. No, after they do the dirty, they revert back to their juvenile state, and they can just they can just keep doing that. That's like chill. Yeah, and so they can they're potentially immortal because. It's like after you reach your uh, your maturity is when you start to decline. Bummer. And so the fact that they can just go back to just before that happens. Yeah. Kind of. Fountain of youth situation. Kind of rad. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I love, I've always loved the idea in literature that if you like stay in the fountain of youth too long, you become a baby and then like you can't get out because you're a baby and then you become a fetus and then an embryo and then an egg and sperm separately and then you just become a single cell and then you become nothing. <laughs> I've always thought that yeah. was really funny. God, what would it would I mean it would be really cool if the Fountain of Youth was a real thing, but can you imagine if you went there and you people like, would make like people like, would market foot, the heck out of it. Like oh. you dipped your foot in it and then you pulled it out and it was like a baby <laughs> foot and you're like, Oh no And you're like, I don't have to do Only you put, your foot. It's like now your baby. arm and your leg are different ages. Oh and, no. You have to like put your whole body in yeah. it to get the like, aging. At the exact same time. You basically have to do a cannonball. And then have someone or with, like a, have with a, a rope like pull you out. Spray you with the hose, but it's Fountain of Youth. <laughs> and then they like miss a spot and all, you have, you have like, like hairy chest and then the rest of your body is like prepubescent sheen. Uh, what is it that you have to, uh, you have to siphon it out to get the hose going? <laughs> and then your throat then you, becomes yeah. <laughs> baby mouth. You just have baby lips. Uh, all your old teeth grow back. Ooh, <laughs> I hate that idea. Would the fountain of youth give you more teeth? You would start growing baby teeth again? That's and then sad. you would grow more adult teeth? I think that'd be one of the worst things about using the fountain of youth. It's growing more teeth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So if if you lost a limb and you went to the fountain of youth and dipped it in. I don't know if it's a time thing or a growth thing. That's the. Oh, like it wouldn't bring it back? I don't know. You, you are going back to when you were younger and when you did have that limb. Is it like de-aging you or is it like reverting you back in time because if it's de-aging you it wouldn't grow your limb back i think there's different iterations of it right depending on what story you're looking at i would like to think that it's going back in time so that like yeah if you had a scar that you didn't want or whatever you could just like and then get rid of it <laughs> yeah that makes sense and grow your limb back that i i like that one if it was if it was more of like a i mean even if it was a rejuvenation thing then yeah it would grow you you would grow your limb back no. Yeah. Not rejuvenation. I mean, uh, growth. Uh, I can't think of the word. Growth. No, I can't think of the word of like. Big heel. De aging. Like that's the way. It's just making you younger. It's not bringing you back in time. Like it's physically affecting you, but you're not fourteen or whatever. Like you're still however many years old that you are. You just look and physically are younger you know I what i'm see. saying there's a yeah. difference no i know i know what you're saying it's just kind of like taking the clock and the minute hand and going yeah. backwards a few times mm-hmm. girl that's what going back in time is well i know but on like the cells the clock the clock uh wow. there's another one we actually talked about this and you're the one who brought me onto this idea and then i found it later on is it on. the galapagos tortoise no it's not i tried not to oh is it the anything. sponge it's the sponge the sponge the volcano sponge they're pretty cool they uh they live pretty far down near hydrothermic vents in complete darkness they're chill like that they're chilling for 15,000 years that sounds like too much time that's that's a lot of 
that's a lot of time to spend doing like, nothing doing in nothing the dark in the dark that's yeah. so such a bummer Every animal kind of that lives You'd way down deep, like, there's no In that light. amount of time, they would have figured out how to walk around or something. I know. You know like, do an call. activity. Yeah. Do an Send activity. an email. <laughs> Send an email. It just, it sounds like such a bummer to live in complete darkness. <laughs> like, I know so many organisms do it, but that just sounds like a bummer. Well, I mean, they kind of evolve. It's like if, uh, if, if humans lived in, like, caves and we just evolved to have well we talked like, about like, the salamander like, like, that uh, lost its like eyes night vision you know or cave site yeah or whatever like a location like a location it just sounds uh, like and a then bummer. you're like oh can you imagine living in the sun like oh uh, bright gives bright. me vitamin d that i need or else my hair is gonna start falling out yeah i don't want to live in the sun to get my vitamin d i want to lick the stalagmite yeah to get, to get my minerals that i need my minerals that i need i suckle from the earth teat whoa <laughs> whoa do you know the difference between stalactites and stalagmites? Yeah, one's on the ceiling and one's on the floor. Which is which? Uh, stalagmites the ceiling. Wrong. You're wrong. No. Shut up. Stalactite no is way. the one from the ceiling. No, you're Because it has to hold on tight to the ceiling. Whoa, you're right. I know. They taught me that in, in uh, elementary school. Really? Yeah. What, did you go to freaking rock elementary school? Uh-huh. I went to elementary school in a cave. I had to hold on to stalactite. <laughs> and that's how I know it, to hold tight to the ceiling. It's very neat. I mean, they're mostly calcium is like what they're made of. Yeah. I, stalactites are such an interesting thing because it's like when the rock comes out, they're not rocks. It's like pure mineral. Uh, You know, like when you, when you, on your windshield or whatever, there's like water stains. Yeah. That's what it is. It is the stain, but it has just grown. It is the stain. It's, I think it's so interesting. Or like when salt grows on like the filter of a saltwater aquarium. Do you think there's like a, a culinary uh, draw to it? A no. culinary use for stalactites? Yeah, like people just like go and grab one and then they're like, oh man, I'm going to shave. I'm going to grate a little stalagmite oh. over my salad. Maybe. And then it's just like, what are you getting? It's like, it's the stalagmite special. I'm kind of into that All idea. All these different random That is such minerals. a good recipe for the Mystery fl Flesh Pit there. National Park. The what? The Mystery Flesh Pit National Park. Have you never heard of it? No, but that sounds kind of... Google it. Okay. okay, what was it called again? Mystery Flesh Pit National Park. I don't know if I want to Google it. No, this. it's good. It's amazing. It's my favorite piece of literature. Okay. It's such a fun fact. Oh... Oh, it's a world building project. Yeah, yeah. It's not real. I thought it was like a real place. No. It's a uh, it's like this it's this giant super organism that they turned into a national park cuz he's just like chilling under the surface of the earth. So people go on like normal national park like cave exploration, like see the flora and fauna of the park, but it's like really gross microorganisms that are like the size of a school bus cuz it's this this organism's immune system and like cuz we have little guys in us too. It's great. This is really creepy. I know. It's so interesting to me. Oh, I hate the pictures. They like go into the meat. Yeah. And like go into its mouth it and like, like the live down of, there. It looks like the episode of the Magic School Bus when they yeah, go Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is his and name? And people like drink Arnold. Arnold is his name. People like drink the juices from it <laughs> and it like makes you horny. Really? I'm not kidding. That's like. That's like a thing. And they made a Coca-Cola product out of it. Yeah, I see that. What is it? Heartthrob. 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 I am so... Sensation. Mystery Flesh Pit National Park is my favorite piece of like... It's not technically analog horror, but it's kind of adjacent. Oh, it's so cool. I would love to be a part of a group that makes one of these I know. huge world... Like fantasy worlds. Like if I could be a part of Wizards of the Coast or... Oh, like yeah. Like the, 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 the group D&D... Not D&D Beyond. I think Wizards of the Coast owns D&D now. I don't know. But whatever it is, I would love to be a part of their world building team. That'd be so much fun. Oh, man. I love people's creativity. Yeah? I love the Mystery Flesh Pit National Park. <laughs> if you if you could go, would you go? Yes, I would go. People uh, always ask, like, oh, if there was Jurassic Park in real life, would you go? Um, Yeah, it's freaking dinosaurs. <laughs> that's so cool, dude. That like, that's like awesome. You were, the, you were part of the group that, like... Where I don't they, care. I saw dinosaurs. Out. Yeah, you also did. You know? Okay. Dinosaur. Little little piece of trivia. Yeah. What's um, up? Let's hear it. Most people don't know this, but Jurassic World, mm -hmm. the like reboot series. Yeah. The park was up and running for ten years before the disaster happened. Really? Yeah. 
I didn't know that. So, like, Jurassic Park wasn't even open before it shut down because the T-Rex got out during the storm and stuff, right? I feel like I knew I know weird parts of Jurassic Park lore. Yeah, probably. Like like the I'm reading the books right whatnot. now. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Is there, like, a book of Jurassic World or is it just Jurassic no, Park? No, just Jurassic Park. Oh, okay. Is there still the one, two, and three? Yeah. I wonder how different three is from the book. The I movie. don't know. One so far is, like, they're really delving into the genetics of it, and I'm, like, really into it. Hmm. It's so far pretty different. I can see how that'd be fun to read. I, I love, should go home and I read. love <laughs> Jurassic Park. I do, dude. We gotta do an episode is. about dinosaurs. <gasps> we do have to. Oh, is there any like? Uh, is there any dinosaur professors on campus? That would be a good. We should just talk good. to to Barry. Barry. I don't know, I don't know if know he knows. He, would he knows about like, fossils, kind of. Oh my god, we bring him and Dr. Turner in and have him like fight. Like, what are you talking? Yeah, you like, like put your ahead, fists uh, up. <laughs> it's like, what do you, you want them to fist fight and like, you just hear it? We'd have no camera. It's like a, uh, it's like a presidential debate. Like they're just. Oh. Talking about. We have to give them something to fight over, though. There yeah. have to be a topic that they both disagree on. Yeah. You know, or like we'll fish it out of them eventually. <laughs> We'll figure it out. We just ask him all these random questions. Like, how do you feel hey, about this? I'm just sending this? you an email to ask, um, how do you feel about this? <laughs> and then we find something they disagree on and then bring them on and they fist fight over it. Oh, my God. I I saw something about that where it was talking about the, like, the health of leaders around the world. And it's like leader. When you thought of a leader, they used to – this is kind of – I don't know how true this is. Like leaders used to be super like the peak of the nation, like strong, capable yeah. people. Abraham and, Lincoln. And like now it's like gone and gone downhill to where it's like, oh, it's just whoever is ever... the most well known or political, yeah. you know, has the most favor in yeah. the climate. And uh presidents need to fist fight each other before they, they... used to do that. They should do it well, again. I mean, not like each other, but like uh, I think it was Teddy Teddy Roosevelt. He bo- he was a boxer. He was a boxer. Yeah, like he Abraham would, Lincoln. Like he would hold, was a wrestler. Yeah, he would hold like matches in the White House. Imagine getting like your ass beat by the president or beating the president. Yeah, <laughs> dude, how cool would that be? There's too much like security around president. I mean, I guess when they started getting assassinated, people were like, maybe maybe we shouldn't hold boxing matches for the president. Well, I think there's just. I I honestly this is kind of it's like a it's 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 a slippery slope but I think that there's a lot of safety restrictions on things and that's what keeps a lot of things from progressing. I agree with you. Because there's I feel like there's a lot of things in the world of science that like they're like oh you know maybe if we just compromised a little bit of our morals then we could really figure some stuff out. I kind of agree with you. you like know? human experimentation is one thing. However, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that, like uh, in, in biology, when we were learning yeah. about uh, what is it, bioluminescence? Yeah, 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 yeah. GFP protein. Yeah, I went and I asked uh, Dr. Turner about it, and I was like, "So if you, if you were like, because they they said that they were able to get something else to glow." Uh, um, the scientist who like found. I know it. they can do it with axolotls. Yeah. Well, I, I asked him. I was like, "So if you get uh, like a human." like early enough in the development site or stage and you spike them with and you spike them with that would they glow and he was like theoretically it's possible he's like but then that comes down to an argument of morals oh (laughs) i I want to glow green that'd be cool dude Except when you try to go to bed and you're oh, glowing green. Hey, you're your guess own what? Nightlight. I already wear a sleep mask to go to bed. Any amount of light is too much light for me. So <laughs> already cross that off. Well, you, like even your eyes, like you'd be, you'd have Don't the sleep care. mask on and it'd be glow. Like you Don't would close care. your eyes I'm glowing and you'd green. see through So cool, your eyelids. dude. No, I'm pretty sure they've done it with cats and dogs. Yeah. I I really think that they have. I don't know if they have. Because they've done it with the... But there's stuff like that. And there's also, like, technological They've done things. it with monkeys. Oh. That's a bit odd, but cool. Well, he was saying how it it's for... Uh, they can use it to highlight different organs, mm-hmm. depending where they spike the protein. So they could get their eyes to glow, like, certain organs to glow. Yeah. Well, that's... No, they have done it with cats, dogs, monkeys, rats, pigs. That's really cool. Bees, rabbits. Try it with people. I'm try it with people. I'm try sure. it with. I'll volunteer. <laughs> if they want to spike me with a protein and have me glow in the dark, I think they, I'd do would, it. they would have to get you early enough. Well, let me go hop in the fountain of youth then. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> no, I I think it's the same thing with uh, mechanics. I think that there's a lot of mechanical restrictions because they're worried about safety. And it's like there's a lot of people at home. Maybe we should start like, blowing stuff up again. Yeah, they do like a lot of like crazy experiments on their own and a lot of it never gets documented. Like I'm pretty sure there's a lot of like home remedies and food stuff as well. 
that you could totally figure a lot of stuff out if you just let people like go wild. Yeah. But that's how a lot of people die. Yeah. Well, it's called sacrifice. <laughs> it's called for, for the greater good. For the greater good. Anyway, I think we're coming to our ending point. Yeah. For today. Yeah. Uh, thank you all for listening. Well, this will be our last episode before uh, winter break. Are we not recording one next week? We can't come into the campus next week, except we, for finals. I thought we could. There's no lectures. I mean, maybe we can. Maybe, maybe this is the second to last. Maybe it's the last. We'll talk about it. Yeah. But You'll hear about it on our Instagram. Yeah. Or... If this is our last episode, thank you for listening and hanging out with us for the semester. If it's not our last episode, then no thank you for doing that. Yeah. Do it. Hang out. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. See you next time.